That's Larry. You know, and I said, Dan Lynn, what do you think about this? This is the actual clip, which you don't get to see a lot, of when I met your mom. What Larry showed 13-year-old Danny Lynn is this never-before-seen video at a Kentucky Derby party where Larry met Nicole for the first time. She grabbed me and gave me a kiss. <laughs> In my mind, I thought, you know, there's no way that Anna Nicole, who could have her pick of any guy in here, is interested in me. Kiss me. But she said, oh, honey, you're so cute, you're so cute. That's going above the bed right there. <laughs> I didn't go into detail, but, like, this is the moment where sparks fly. This is the moment where, you know, it all happens. And to have that on tape and to be able to share it with her, I thought she would be happy about it. She goes, oh, my God, this is so cringy. Larry hopes that one day 13-year-old Danny Lynn will be ready to watch the documentary. Until then, though, he said she's busy being a normal kid going to public school. She's got a great personality, and I worried and wondered a lot not having her mom there, whether that was going to be something that was a big issue for her, but she makes the best of every day. She didn't want to tell the world who the father was. We got into this big argument, and she left. I didn't know where she was, and, um, that was the last time I saw her. Anna Nicole died on February 8th, 2007 of a drug overdose in Florida. What followed was a contentious court battle in the Bahamas between Larry, Anna Nicole's boyfriend slash lawyer Howard Stern, and Anna Nicole's mother over baby Danny Lynn. It finally ended when a DNA test proved Larry was the biological father. For me to go back in such great detail, it was emotional. The relationship almost killed me, to be honest. You know, if you go back through your all's archives in the Bahamas, you interviewed me, and I was like pencil thin. I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep. I, I was on the verge of, you know, it, I was being spoon fed, to be honest, when I, the, the week I got Danny Lynn, because I just couldn't. Larry hopes the documentary will correct any misinformation, not only about their love story, but about Anna Nicole's life and death. When people talk about her, the first thing that they want to say is she was on drugs all the time, she was out of her mind. We break down her health issues. And people don't understand she had seizures. Her hands had chronic swelling in them. She had pains from breast implants, and she had doctors treating her. Did she always take her medicines and do things that she was supposed to do right? No. But it wasn't like she was out trying to get the next big high.